a public nuisance to most, but beloved pets to Mark Borges. You're a little guy. We'll put you in your own little nest. Borges is what you'd call a pigeon fancier. He shows some of the 37 pigeons in his flock at exhibitions, and he might sell a few too. This is David Bowie, yeah. But he landed at Billy Bishop Airport, and as a responsible bird person, you have to go pick him up, just like if you had a dog or a cat. What may not be well known about pigeons is their sophisticated binocular-like vision and their outstanding visual memory. They can distinguish between foreground and background, objects like a cat or a car, letters of the alphabet. They can even tell the difference between a Monet and a Picasso. Scientists have long known about the power of pigeon vision, too. And last year, a team of researchers published a study with their findings that these skilled observers can be trained to spot cancer. For their first experiment, pigeons were placed in small boxes. There was a food pellet dispenser and a touchscreen monitor. We showed the pigeons slides of breast tissue that had been blown up to various degrees of magnification. The pigeons pecked a panel if they saw cancer and another if they did not. They did remarkably well, answering correctly 85% of the time and rewarded with food. What impressed researchers even more, the pigeons reached this high score over 15 days of training, a skill that takes years to learn for trained specialists. They didn't perform so well in another test. When it came to distinguishing benign from malignant masses in mammograms, some pigeons reached 80% correct, but others plateaued at 60%. The pigeons tended to have the most trouble with the images that people have the most trouble with because of the subtlety and, and, and difficulty of the task. Finally, when pigeons were rated as a flock, the group accuracy level reached 99%, the equivalent to trained human specialists. Pigeons aren't about to replace pathologists and radiologists anytime soon, but researchers see potential for these bird brains as substitutes for humans in testing new medical imaging technology. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.